Hello and welcome to my new FPS video. In this video we are going to make this. So shotgun shooting and a little bit extras. And if you want to support me, you can subscribe my channel and like this video. I will continue making these tutorials for you. And I probably will separate this shotgun part two different videos and I will post second video tomorrow. So let's start. Okay, let's start making this shotgun. So first thing what we have to do is to actually make that weapon base class to be shotgun. So you can create a child blueprint class and then you can call it shotgun. Now open that and here what we need to do is to change that model to be shotgun. This tutorial will be probably separated in two videos because this would be so long but in this tutorial we will make that basic shooting so you can fire many projectiles at the same time and have like bullet spread. But yeah, now you have that you can rotate this to correct position. And then this iron sight, you don't need that iron sight because this is not M4. You can set it visible to false. And after that, you don't, by the way, have this if you are not Patreon supporter. This is only Patreon thing, that iron sight. But here you can set that to be clear. If you are not Patreon supporter, you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, now we have that shotgun. And what we have to do, we have to actually open that. And here. We will make that first socket to be that left hand socket. In next video we will finish like visuals and some animations and those things. But let's make this first tutorial to be only for the logic. So we will make only this left hand socket. And move that socket actually because we have that clip bone. This one. And you can make easily and I will show in next video animation for the shotgun when you fire, then after that it does this. And we can actually make life easier by parenting this left hand to that clip bone. And now we can position it better. And now when we move that clip bone, we also move our left hand. So it is good thing. And now you can save this. And here, I think this is good. Now you can go to your inventory and here you can open that inventory component then you can open weapon item type actually item type and weapon stats and then item data table and first we will item type add here shotgun shotgun then save and now weapon stats, we have here some things, but we can add also here shotgun shell count. And this could be integer. So if you are firing nine bullets at the same time, then you can set this to be nine. But yeah, now we can go item data table and we can duplicate our M4 and set that to be row number four. Very important. Then you can do basic setup, shotgun, 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 9, 1, 5, 2000, 3, 3, and bullet could be 9. And we will make that pickup class next time and anime state can be rifle because you are holding shotgun basically same as you are holding any other rifle on pistol is different because you are using different animations if you want to do same like different pose when you are holding that shotgun you can make it similar that we done in pistol part but we will use that rifle and now you can go to your inventory component and there is inventory and I have now three items currently wearing, but I will set this to be four. So the first item in my hand will be shotgun now. Then compile and save. And now we can 
test a little bit. So set one player and stand alone, and then open that shotgun. Now you can start playing, and you see your hand is not correctly positioned, so you can go here and reposition here. Yeah, this is good for now. Then save, and yeah, now it should look correct. But in next video we will make also that I aiming and muscle socket and bullet ejection so socket and those things. But yeah, now we can stop playing and go to our firing and aim. We have here that input action. And now weapon type, we have here also shotgun. What we can do, we can basically copy that rifle fire, paste it here and call this shotgun fire. Then plug it here. Now open that one. And we don't have to do many things here, but this reset fire rifle, you can call it shotgun, so because you don't, you can't have same name at events. And then all these looks good, except this delay, because we don't want to have auto firing. Then delete also that. Now we have only one single shot. And we have that fire projectile direction. This is what we have to modify. So let's make actually a sequence. And we can connect this two part here, and first part here. So this also goes here, but this have like separate thing. And what we can do here, we have that fire projectile to direction. We can, hmm, one thing, you can duplicate this function. So, fire projectile direction, you can duplicate that. But if you want to keep everything in one function, it is completely okay. But you can duplicate that and then call it here. But I will use this function. But I will make one branch. Then make this to be false part and copy this here. Then make one condition to that function and call this shotgun. And now we have this rifle fire section here. Let's duplicate whole thing to up here. And then we can connect this true part here. And now we have to do a little bit modifications. So first of all, when you, where you have this select rotator and you have this little bit bullet spread when you are not aiming, we will add a lot more that. So you can put it here. And then we need to copy this a couple times, and then also to here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Copy everything to here. Yep. So you need six of these. And then what you need to do, you need to copy these also. Now you can put that A part to here, then split that and connect these. So we will always have a little bit bullet spread. That's the reason why we are doing that. Then just connect these like that. And these, not everything should come from this. So first one to here. Remember to set that bottom one. And yeah, these are when we are aiming and these are when we are not aiming. So, so where we are not aiming, we can make much more bullet spread. Like five, five, also my, minus five to five. And when we are aiming, we can put, for example, three here. You can modify these values when you have tested this. But yeah. Now it should be okay, but we have to copy this and this to up here. So paste these things here. Let's make this a little bit looking better. 
like this. And there you need to do the same thing. So this rotation goes here, rotation, and you can break that A pin and split it, and then connect these. And here also what we have to do, delete that one and put these to here. So now we will have a lot of more bullet spread. And then go to your firing and aim, shotgun fire. And now we are only firing one time this projectile. We want to fire this multiple times. So make a for loop, for loop, and this basic for loop, not for each loop, for loop. And what for loop do? If I set value 5 here, this loops this 6 times, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then it completes. Also tick that shotgun. And this last index is basically we created that shell count here, so we can use that one. And you can go to your equipped item probably in here and set stats to server current stats and we have here that so we can use that current stats okay we are also using it here so we can copy that and we can't just plug this here because this number is 9 and this will be actually printed 10 times, so we need to minus this by 1 and put it here. Now compile and save, and we have also one problem. You can copy this one and go to your receive impact from projectile, so this damage section. And the problem is that when we are firing our rifle, we do 5 damage per bullet. Now we are doing 9 damage per bullet and we are shooting 9 bullets, <laughs> so we are doing too much damage. So we have to reduce that and we will do it this way. Base damage, make select node, select float. And then you can take your damage and divide it by 9. No, no, no. Divided by current shotgun shell count, like this. And this big A is current weapon, current weapon type. And let's check is this equal to shotgun. And then connect this to big A. So if this is shotgun, we are using this A. And if we are not using shotgun, we will use this B1. Now you can put it here, like that. Then compile and save. And one thing what we have probably do is go to your fire projectile the direction and find your projectile. We are spawning many bullets at the same time. So these are colliding with each other and it is problem best way would be to make new trace channel and call it projectile to here. So we have projectile, but now we will maybe do that in next video. But now you can select that to be physics body, because if this is word dynamic, we are blocking it, because we are collision response is also word dynamic to block. So if we set that to be physics body, we actually overlap this. Like you can see. So compile and save. And then do we have everything? I think we have everything. And how you can test this? You can go item data table and take for example AK and select five damage. And for the shotgun we could use also five damage. Then save. And then you can set player health. So health, let's compile and check, health is 10. So it should take two bullets from AK and two foul hits by shotgun. And we can test that. So as client and two players. 
Okay, if we shoot this player one time, and we shoot another time, it will die. If we do that to more far here, why it is dying? That's actually where. Okay, reason why it is doing that is because if we set our health to be, for example, 10, and this is integer, this is whole number, and basically we can do like half damage, so it is always one damage per bullet at the minimum. So how to fix that we could set health to be a float. That's the one way. So now we can just put it here. Delete that one. Then use that one. Refresh. And here we need to have float check. Also we can delete that one. Also here we need to float check. You probably don't have these things that blot blotting the screen. But yeah, now it should be okay. And you can find references where we are using that health. We are using it only here. So okay, that will be okay. Then health is 10. And we can go to our shotgun and set damage to be 5 now. And we have 10 shell count. Now we can try again. Yeah, I think it is working. And even if you put shell count to be something raised like 500, this will be probably a lux game. A lot. Yeah, I think this crashed. No, it is working. But if I shoot these, this guy will not die because that dividing. Yeah, but second hit will kill it. Oh, some bullets miss it. But you get the point. You can increase that shell count how you like. For example, 9. But this damage is actually damage how you do if you hit every shell. So, thanks for watching and see you next part. Bye!